Hey everybody, it's Coach. And Mrs. Coach. This is Coach Cast TV, and today we're back with Queen. Ooh. And today we're doing something that has been requested, I believe, just about since we started reacting mm -hmm. to Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is which called... Would, which would have been from the get-go. Right, because Queen was our very first reaction. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's called March of the Black queen mm. and i'm appropriately dressed well i'm not I'm somebody great. didn't get the memo you didn't tell me till i sat down i asked you that's right you didn't say maybe they have a song called the green machine or something oh, that's great. We'll, we'll matches my eyes, speaking of green machine when i was a kid they had the little uh, like the big wheel but they also had the green machine you remember what i'm talking about it had like the little levers on it and it no Somebody out there will remember the green machine. Uh, so I remember the big wheels. Yeah, throw a link. Uh, throw a link. Well, you can throw a link if you want for Mrs. Coach, uh, but throw a comment and let everybody know that Coach is not off his rocker, at least not when it comes to the green machines. Uh, anyway, we're going to see what March of the Black Queen is all about. Coming up next. All right, we're back, and uh, not that I doubt uh, that the Queen fans would have my back on this, but uh, Green Machine. I'm sorry. I remember the pink big wheel and the red and black big wheel and the sit and spin. That's it. Well, for guys 8, 9, 10 years old who really know how to ride the Green Machine, well, I'm not a guy. Look, you guys don't get this on other reaction channels. So I can't this, help you. This is the green machine. And if you have no idea uh, about this uh, thing, uh, this wonderful invention, uh, you have been enhancified <laughs> by Coach Cast TV today. So anyway, uh, let me get that off of here. And we are going to now do March of the Black Queen okay. coming up next. Okay, now we can properly kick this off. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in your head, isn't there? That, well, and some of it escapes every episode. <laughs> Written by Freddie, 1974. <laughs> Baby, I'm black. 
I I am getting a little bit of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody vibe from this. I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Uh, There's part I like. It's got a catchy beat, but this is just a wild, weird song. There was a lot of good stuff in the 70s. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, let's see. The long hair and... I was I was actually referencing to things they may ingest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I look the creative mind uh, it just you know comes up with all kinds of stuff, and no <laughs> nobody can say that these four gentlemen mm-hmm. are not creative minds. They are very creative minds. This is a different vibe. You have. You have a really good beat. Not for sure what the lyrics mean, but it's Queen. But it's just, it's just a crazy, weird song. Is this the album that had the black and the white side? Uh, I'm just because you know one of their you're albums. Asking the wrong person. I, no, I'm asking them. You turn around, and looked at me though. Well, no, I was just looking at you because I like to look at you. I'm good like that. Uh, <laughs> nice save. Nice so, save. <laughs> yeah, Coach is pretty smooth. Anyway, let's get back to this. Okay. I want to go back. Just That's a, a little bit catchy, right there. I kind of like that. Yeah, I want to go back because I think I'm pretty sure that was Roger, and uh, I like Roger's voice, mm-hmm. as everybody knows that's watched our Queen reactions, mm-hmm. and so I want to hear that again. Mm-hmm. This cranked it up. Mm-hmm. It's I do honestly kind of get the feeling of Bohemian Rhapsody with this, not because it sounds like it, but because mm-hmm. they took different sounds and, mi- and and mashed it all up mix matched in a good way you know what i mean <laughs> this song just makes me laugh yeah no i mean it's hey art can affect everybody different right mm-hmm. it can make you cry it can make you laugh it can make you feel warm and fuzzy it can make you sad uh, right it can do all those different things and no matter how it impacts you mm-hmm. the key is that it does impact, impact you, you. Mm-hmm. and that's I think as an artist what well, I'm not an artist but if I were an artist mm-hmm. I would want somebody to be impacted even if it wasn't the way I necessarily intended yeah. because just- I might have wanted to write something to make people sad and it made them happy or mm-hmm. vice versa and I would still be okay with that because my art was impactful this is just a neat little weird song. I mean, it, it's it. You've got the mellow, and then this part right here 
it's just, it's unique. But as we've said in the past, this shows how diverse they really are. Yeah, they're showing it all in one song. Yeah. Yeah. And they've done that more than once. All right, well, my man Roger's getting ready to turn loose here. Piano sounds Reminds me of another song of theirs. Well, they had some green. Not expect that. That's Queen. Uh, well, that's interesting. Uh, I kind of got the vibe that was supposed to have been sort of like a fairy tale or sorta kinda. I don't know. I, I, I have no less. idea. I, the the lyrics here did not give me the story. If I'm being honest, and so uh, that's what we have viewers. Well, for. Fee Fi is from Faux Fum. Yeah. Is from a. <laughs> I mean, if you'll say it, say the whole thing. It is from a fairy tale. Right. And, you know, the March of the Queen is from a fairy tale. Yeah. You know, so that's what I was saying. I don't know. I, our viewers are going to have to let us know. Uh, well, on any this song one. that makes you smile and laugh, hey, it's a good song. Right. And, and like I said earlier, I don't think that if, uh, you know, most artists really want to dictate how yeah. their art affects each individual person mm -hmm. they just want it to be yeah. impactful and i think that most artists are that way and mm -hmm. uh just knowing what we know about queen i really do believe that they f would feel that way mm -hmm. that they uh, they didn't even take themselves seriously in every song no uh they poked fun all the way up as we know mm -hmm. to the end mm -hmm. and so uh i don't think that they would care if you thought it was rocking good time or if mm -hmm. you thought it was intricate and genius or if you thought hey that's kind of crazy in a well, fun way. Well, this just shows how they are so just different. They can take something and give you multiple ways of looking at it. And, you know, it it's crazy since we started reacting to them. It's just every song brings something different and you never know what's coming. You think it's over with and then you get just what we got. The little, the little, I guess, crazy little ending, or however they put it, but that that just shows they're very talented. Yeah, you know, I the part for me that was best was the the section of the song where Roger was singing, mm -hmm. not only because I really like Roger's voice, 
but because that that whole part had a little rockier, harder mm-hmm. sound, and everybody already by this time knows that's what I prefer. Mm-hmm. And so uh, it, that was mm-hmm. for me the best part of this song. And I, mm-hmm. I would have loved to have heard an entire song from them that sounded like that. But maybe they have one that sounds like that. If so, you guys will have to let us know. Um, in any case, uh, Mrs. Coach got enhanced about a green machine today, and uh, we listened to the March of the Black Queen, and the green machine and Black Queen rhyme, so there's a, you know, just another sign of Coach's what? genius, queen and machine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to call it here, because yeah, I have blown like- Mrs. Coach's mind. Uh, <clears throat> now I live with this analogy every day. I just roll my eyes and keep going. She does. She lives with it, folks. Uh, you can turn it off. Uh, anyway, uh, we appreciate you guys. Seriously, yes. we do appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks for uh, directing us to this. Uh, a couple of people mentioned a live mm-hmm. version, too, which would have been interesting to mm-hmm. see this done live. But by a large majority, people said to do the official lyric video. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but who knows? Maybe we'll get to a live at some point as well if that's what people want. Mm-hmm. So in any uh, case, uh, please throw a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And ring that bell. And we'll see you next time on CoachCast TV.